and when you go to our website homepage, this is how they look like at the moment. However, this is how we don't want our homepage to look like. So how do we achieve the design that we want? Now we are going to come here to our website dashboard and we are going to come over here to pages, all pages. And under all pages, we are going to open up our homepage and we are going to edit this homepage. And we're going to edit it with Elementor. And here we are. Now, we are going to first of all add here kind of like a post grid on our homepage. How do we do that? Now, this is where the other plugin that we added into our website comes into play. And that is the HTMega add-ons. We are going to add a new section here. Add it to be one column. And we come over here to our widgets area. Come under HTMega add-ons. So here is a post grid with a HT logo. I simply drag it over here to our section and boom. Now once this shows up here, we can make some changes. We can switch between different layouts. But I prefer layout one. That's how it looks like. Then we come here to the post option, content source, posts, and we can specify the categories that we want to show right here. We can eliminate others by simply not choosing them to display right here. Okay, something like that. Or we can simply delete everything here. And we have all the category content show right in there. And here we can limit on the amount of posts to show up and we can even order our posts in a specific way let me say maybe random you can choose to display title link to be 10 characters or even we may choose not to display the category of our blog posts and under style we can choose the grid color typography of each and every element right in here the, the typography and the category right here typography and styling including the background color and we can also add a background to this whole widget right here in this case I don't want to add anything I don't want to add a background I want to leave it just a default once you are done setting up this grid layout right here you can simply update and that means you have your home page now having this kind of layout at the start. Now, when I click over here on the logo, it should take us to the home page. However, it's not taking us to the home page. So how do we make sure that it takes us to the home page? By default, WordPress is a blogging platform. So they expect the latest blog post to show up on the home page. By this case, we have designed a layout, which is going to be our home page layout. And it's, it's the one we want to show up right here. How do we do that? Simply come back to our pages or our dashboard come over here to settings come to reading settings and under reading settings we're going to show our home page as a static page and here we select the home page and there we are also we can create an archives page that will contain all the blog post category or basically a page that is going to display all the blog posts that we have published on our website and that will be the blog page so i save this as our home page layout and now when i come over here to our home page boom now you realize that we have our post grid show up right here but now before we go any further let me first create the archives page, which is going to be the blog post page so i simply come over here to pages i add a new page and right here i'm going to name it blogs or blog simply publish and then i publish and I am going now to come right here to our settings, reading settings. And I'm going to make the posts page to be our blog page. And I simply save changes. Now that means that whoever wants to read through or wants to see our archive page will go to our blog page. So now we are going to do some more customizations of our homepage. First of all, we are going to make this 
layout for our home page to be full width or this post grid to be full width so i'm going to simply close over this then come over here and select the whole widget and i'll make this to be full width and by full width it means it will take over this whole space right here and in case you don't want to have this white space right here you can simply come over here and then select column gap and say no gap but when i go back i preview it means we won't see any gaps right at the edges right there hey yo welcome back to the tutorial now yesterday i was recording the tutorial and i ran into a couple of issues whereby i had a lot of dog back and i had to uh, quit the recording so i could um, continue another time however what i did i just continued creating the page without recording and this is what i have at the moment uh, at the home page that we are trying to recreate we stopped when we had created this post grid i added all this here this is a post tab also added some widgets here but basically i'm also going to take you through how i actually managed to achieve this kind of design using the tools that we already had now the first thing that we want to do is we are going to do this news ticker that is very common in most of the news websites for example it can be breaking news or new articles or something like that so how do we do this exact news ticker at the moment i added it to the header of our website remember we had already created our header and now i'm going to show you how to add this news ticker what we need to do is very simple we are going to go to our theme builder now to go to the theme builder you simply have to go to the dashboard and come to templates which is under elementor and then open up the theme builder so i have the theme builder over here and i'm going to open over our header template once you have opened up your header this is what we have at the moment now what i'm going to do is i'm going to recreate the same section so what i did was simply to add a new section added this section here and then over here i came over and looked up for a new sticker a new sticker is a widget that is provided by ht mega and of course it's also in the free version of ht mega add-ons so i'm going to come over here under ht mega and i'll look up for the new sticker so i simply drag it over here and boom i have our new sticker now when we come back here to our widget and we look into the style under content we actually use style 5 so i'll simply come over here and then look up for style 5 which is this style over here now there are a couple of other styles style 6 style 7 style 1 and a lot more so you can simply go through the different stylings and see which one really applies or one that pleases you so i chose to go with style 5 and then i decided to use the word over here to be breaking news or to be just breaking it can be a different word in your case and then i added a label icon which is a bell over here by clicking over here on the icon library and then i chose this bell added that over there then i came back over here on the ticker label and i simply added a space by simply hitting the space bar so that i could have the spacing over there and next what i had to do was come back to our content now we select the content option and we can choose the content source they are going to be blog posts so these can even be pages in case you want to show pages as part of your new sticker content and then here i selected the categories of the kind of content that i want to show up right here now this is where we created categories in the very first place so i'll choose the news category i'll choose the tech category and i also choose the travel category and if you don't choose any of the category or if you don't select any of the categories automatically it will fetch all posts that you have on your website and then the news limit you can limit it to any number of posts that you want to show up right here if you leave it blank it is unlimited and if you select like 10 automatically 10 posts will be showing up in your stick in your new sticker when we come over here to the navigation button this is basically it you can choose over here in the library the kind of navigation that you want to use in your new sticker however at the moment i wanted to keep it just on default next what i had to do is come over here to style and under style we can make a couple of styling changes over here now i left this to be the default color 
So I came over here to the style, came to the background, then I chose to use black as our background color for this new sticker. And then we left the other ones on default. That means we have the content appearing in white. And here on the navigation, we are going to add a hover effect on the arrows when they are hovered on. So how do we do that? We simply come back here, come to the navigation, and then come to the hover option. And we, we are going to select the color to be this color over here. And now see when I hover over there, we have that color. Okay. I think this is actually a different color. So this is the one here. I also remember that I showed you how you can add these presets right here so that you can always reuse your colors over and over again in your website building project. So congratulations, that's how I built up our new sticker. But the other thing I have to mention is that you can pad over your new sticker to match your uh, website or the rest of the items of your website. So this side looks perfect, but this side doesn't look perfect. So what I have to do is simply come back here to our editor. So we are simply going to come and click here on the widget, come to the advanced option and you realize on the margin, we gave it a negative margin on the left side of eight. So the same we are going to do here, I'll come over here to the widget, come to the advanced section, and we have to unlink the margins. Otherwise, if we don't unlink them and we apply anything, it will apply to everything over there. So I'm simply going to unlink here, apply eight and give it a negative margin. Now that means that this widget will now match over with our logo and all the other widgets. In a nutshell, that's how we created the news ticker widget in our news blog or magazine blog website. Once you are done, you simply hit update and you are good to go. At the moment, I'm not going to save this. I'm simply going to hit update and that's it. So once you're done, I'm going to simply close over our header and that's how we managed to achieve this exact new stick over here. But also you realize that our post width before it was full width or I had set it to full width and now it is basically in the boxed version. You know how to set that. You simply come back here to your home page, simply load this section, come to our home page. I'll edit it with Elementor. So when I preview over here, realize that it's not full width, it's still boxed. When I select this content widget, I simply just converted it back to the boxed version because I simply wanted everything to be aligned right from the top here as it goes right below down here. Now, when you look over here, we have this section here. This is one section. And then we have also this other section. This is basically a sidebar and this is another widget. And basically I created two columns and I added these two widgets. Now, how do we do this? I'm going to show you when we come back to our homepage, let me add here a new section. Okay. And I'm going to give this section two columns. Okay. And that's how we added two columns of this section. And I am going to come here to our widgets area and I'll look up for the tabs, which is under the HT mega add-ons, which is up here, post grid tab. And I simply drag it over there. And then on the other hand, we have this other column where, which we are going to, which is going to help us and we add our widget for our social media. So simply I'm going to come over here and I am going to use the widget, the Facebook widget, which is made by Elementor. So in this case, we go to the pro version of Elementor and we look up for the Facebook widget. This is only in the Elementor pro version. So if you're using the free version of Elementor, you won't achieve it or you won't get it. So here it shows up and I basically came over here to the link option and I changed it to my Facebook URL or Facebook page URL. So this is got tech UG and you can obviously uh, choose what you want to show. For example, you want to show a timeline events or messages right here. You can choose to display a small header, a cover photo, and all what you want by simply clicking over here and you enable. Now we have added messages to show up right here and this is what it is showing here. 
Okay, now the other thing is that you realize that we have a small kind of header here. We simply added the title widget and we just tied it up to what we want. So how did we do that? I'm simply going to come over here and then we we'll look up for a title or a heading widget. Drag it over here and we can simply name it stay connected. And we can style it up to what we want. When I come over here to the style option, color is going to be white. And we are going to give it a typography of Lato typeface. And then we are going to just give it a very small. Okay, since we have to be seeing what we do, then we can first switch back to that. So I'm going to give it just a very small font size, which is about 16. Let me see what we gave it over here. Uh, typography, 16, yeah. And then font weight is bold. So we are going to come back here, 16. And then the font weight is just simply bold. And then I simply came over here, went to the advanced section, background, and I gave it a background type and the background type was this color here. And then I'm going to go back here to the, to the style option and the text color, I'm going to switch it back to white. And then I simply gave it some padding just to be right, just like this. So when you check over here, advanced, I give it a padding of 10, 10, and I'm simply going to do over here the same, come to advanced, padding 10 all over, and I'm going to center this word right in the middle. So content, I'm going to have it centered. So that's how we managed to have something like this. But also we made our column to be a little bit smaller, giving it a smaller percentage of 25% of this whole section. So I simply select this column. Now remember we have only two columns, this column and this one here. Now we're simply going to give this column a 25% share of this whole section. And that's how we managed to have our widget to looking just like this. And when we come over here, realize that we have our widget looking like this. Actually, this is supposed to be a post up, not a post grid. So I'm going to come back here to the widgets area, scroll down to our HTML add-ons and look up for the post tab. If I can't manage to look it up, I can simply search it over here, post tab, which is this over here. It's from elements kit, not from HTML add-ons. So I'll simply drag it over here and I'm going to delete the others that we don't need. And now here in our post tab, we can make a couple of changes. First, we can choose which categories we want to show in our post tab. I want to show first the tech, sport, news, and entertainment. So I come back here. I'm going to delete this, 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 this. Now, when I come back here, I select tech, news, sports, and entertainment that's how you add your uh, categories into your other into your post grid and you can even add the others entertainment and business this can be basically the order that you want your post grid to show up right there now the other thing we can do is to style this up example here we give the active color to be purple and then the hover color also to be purple so when we come over here I have to apply that to the background. So post item, typography, the background is supposed to be this one over here. So that's how I happen to achieve this over here. So it can be a little bit tricky. So you have to be very sure on what you're trying to make changes to the color for the typography and the background type, which is the background color. And that's how I managed to have this section over there. And now we have this other section down here. So which is basically a single post carousel. I don't know how to really pronounce this word, but you get it. So I'm going to come back here to our section and we are going to come to our widgets and we're going to search basically for that post. Yeah, whatever. It's from HTMega. Now, this is one of the reasons why I actually had to choose uh, these two main plugins because they give you a lot of options if one doesn't have this the other will have it 
and you can when you mix them up you basically achieve what you want to create now when we come down here you realize that we chose the layout for and we limit it to certain categories and uh, a number of posts so when i come back up here to the section we are creating uh, we chose layout for but of course you can even choose other layouts that are made by uh, ht mega add-ons for example layout 3 layout 2 and you can customize it to whatever you want so i go back to layout 4 and realize it is just like this kind of like blog posts uh, that are in a carousel format or whatever that word is then post option is going to be posts i'm going to limit this to three uh, posts or even two posts and then the categories i want to show there is business and entertainment okay and i want this to be in ascending order and you can choose to display the category uh, the date even the title and the title length content length and all that that stuff so the other one is the carousel option and you want to show how many options in the slider i want only to show one option in the slider now when you say one option in the slider that will automatically move it to be just like this one here and if you choose to show two only it will look something like this but now if you don't want to use the carousel option because you want them to be listed like in a vertical format so we're going to come back here to the uh, carousel come to the post carousel and we're going to turn off the carousel ability okay and now that means that we will have our blog posts showing up in a vertical format and that's how i happen to achieve this exact design down there to show you a little bit that this is exactly what we did i'm going to delete this section down below but before i delete it i'm going to show you how we also added the recent post section over here so i'm going to come back here to our section and i'm going to first duplicate this one here the title and i'm going to drag it down below here and i'm going to just simply change it to recent posts so i come back here and I look up for the post list this is post list which is down here it's from elements kit and then I drag it over right here now it shows up then the selected post I want to show the recent posts and then I want to limit to a number of them I can say five and right here I can choose to display them in the default format or even to display inline but I want them to display in the listing format in the vertical option and also want to display the featured image and a little bit of the meta and the meta is basically this right here i can show the date now when we come up here realize there is no date i can show the date and i can also show the category meta at the top of that once you are done setting up your recent posts you can even style them up for example you can say the meta i want it to have a specific typography size font face select your font and then you can give it something really small and then you can come here and you can assign it a very different color for example the color could be you know one of these here something like that and you can also make changes to the titles right over there so basically that's how you can add your recent posts widget like that in this web project now i'm going to delete this other section that i had created earlier delete this and i'm simply now going to update and you see how this is going to look like on our newly created section so i come to the home page and i'm going to open it up in a new tab so that we retain this one that was already created and now when i scroll down here boom you see we have our section over there and we have this other section down below wow i love how it looks like and then we have this other section here looks really beautiful now next what we are going to do is how i created this other section below here now to create this section i am i simply added a new section right over here and when you look over 
to this other section i use the widget called blog posts okay and this widget called blog post is from elements kit so simply added a whole column and then came over here and i looked up for blog posts which is this from elements kit dragged it over there and then there is a layout style called block another layout style called grid with thumbnail grid without thumbnail so when you look at this these are the grid with thumbnail grid without thumbnail so i simply use the block one and i chose to display the featured image and then the featured image alignment is left look at this that's how it looks like and by default everything is showing up just as i wanted it to appear like that's why you see that uh, i have this kind of design but of course you can make more other changes to this widget to show up your blog post in a certain way for example you can make changes with the meta or what kind of blog posts are going to appear in this specific widget and the order and all that stuff and of course you can even make changes with the meta position you can say the title should be before after or the other option now the styling and colors all go back to you on how you want to make them but for me i was happy with what i had here i'm simply so i'm simply going to delete this section because i don't need it anymore which is the one down below here and i'll update now when we look into our website preview on what we have so far created we have our post grid here the post grid tab or the post tab here the sidebar widgets and we have here the single posts and we also have this one here the block widget for the posts and now we are going to create this one over here to get started creating it we are going to add a new widget here or a new section and we are going to add a new widget called the called the blog posts so come over here it's made by elements kit drag it over here and we are going to simply change it to grid with thumb so our grid with thumb will have three posts show up but you can make them even up to six and then you can also show the title or if i want to crop uh, by word for example one you realize that we'll only have to show up one word in the title and simply that's how it works like if you leave it blank it will show unlimited or the size of the title but we are more interested here in the query from which categories are we going to pull our posts that are going to show up right in this section in this case i'm going to leave it to be entertainment and news so we can do a lot of more other things the meta section we can show a floating date this is a floating date over here this is the format number one which is this and this is the format number two that we can use from the floating date i prefer to use this one over here and this is basically showing the date when the post was made and then the read more option in case we want to show it right down here the other thing we're going to do is to limit on the meta for example under the meta section so under the meta section we will show the date it will be after the title and that's how it looks like so we come back here to the layout section and we're going to come to the option that says show content and we are going to de deactivate that that means that our content won't be showing up right here so at the moment we have something that is very familiar to this next we are going to come here to the style options and we are going to come here to the background and at the moment we only need the white background option so meta color section i choose to be black i can try to move the knob right here the same i come over here to the title i want the title color to be black i can also choose to move the knob once the color is not kind of affected down there and boom that's how far we are and when now we preview right from here you realize that we have our section right there now we are going to delete this other section we no longer need it and now that means that we have created our other section that we had over right here now i'm going to simply hit update and once i hit update i will reload our home page over here and boom we have our section right here 